Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to an episode of the dot-com lunch. I'm here at Fur Black Coal here in uh, Orange County, back after a trip from the Hot Springs, Las Vegas, and a few other few other places. It's been a lot of fun, but it, it's good to be home. I'm filming this episode with the new Sony A7 camera, and there's no flip screen, so I don't have no idea how I look. I hope it comes out good. Uh, this is right now being filmed in 4K, 24 frame, for a cinematic look. So let me know what you think. All right, so joining us on a little dot-com adventure, we have Tanaka, Taka, 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 and Steve Wynn of Wynn Casinos. That's right, that's right. Yeah, Wynn Casino right here. He's a billionaire. Thank you. Water, yeah. Whose lemonade is that? Whose lemonade? Is that all? Not, not all? Lemon? Is that all? I, okay. No, it's not mine, I guess. Okay. Uh, I was hoping he would just give it to us. <laughs> oh, well. Did, did you order lemonade? No, I Did you? Damn, we should have said yes because he just bought it back inside. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got my iced coffee here. Yeah. Beautiful. With the pineapple. No more Hello Kitty. They just kind of fruits. This is the uh, other lens I got for my Sony A7 III camera. It's the 85mm f1.8. This is like one of the sharpest lenses you can buy, like for any price tag. It's got an amazing review and it can shoot in the dark because it's a super fast aperture, f1.8. Uh, it gives a nice blur background that we love so much. Like, uh, I'm gonna put it on and give you guys an example. Okay, so here is the, uh, the lens in action. I have it put it at Taka, as you can see, and look at him, his face is super sharp. But look at the background, nice and blurred out. Like uh, you can see someone, you can see a silhouette walking into the background, but that's it. You see his face, amazing, amazing. So that, that's the advantage of the F1.8. So here is the, uh, the same shot again uh, with the kit lens. And the kit lens, the lowest I can go is an F5.6 when it's a 70 mil. So, you know, Taka is, his face is in focus, but also the background you can see is, is a lot less blur. It is a little blur, but nowhere close to the 85mm f1.8. So, and uh, by looking at it right on the top of just at the screen, Attacker doesn't look as sharp as the f1 as the f1.8 85mm, but it, it's still pretty damn good. Lunch today, egg noodles. I did not go for far. This is F13, egg noodle with uh, barbecue pork and and meatball, barbecue pork and meatball. And uh, you know, the, the uh, complimentary veggies. The bok choy. Look what happens to the soup after you leave it for an hour. Uh, this is what's inside my stomach right now. Uh, I don't know. Do you, do you feel good now? <laughs> No wonder still, you no wonder you did not order anything. You You're the smart one. Just drink the water. <laughs> now, I understand a lot of people don't like Donald Trump. Right? I mean, he's a very polarizing, controversial person. Uh, but uh, liberals, especially, do not like Trump at all. They hate him so badly. In fact, they hate him so badly. Uh, something came across my Facebook news feed from Bill Maher. Bill, Bill Maher, is it? Yeah, Bill Maher. And basically, Bill Maher was being interviewed by, I guess, on his news show. And, and he actually said that he hopes the U.S. economy crashes so we can get rid of Trump. And I heard this and I'm going, I just realized that, did he realize what he just said? <laughs> I mean, I, think about it, I hope the economy crashes so we can get rid of this guy. He's like, I hope people go on food stamp. I hope we can go. <laughs> I mean, that's like saying, I hope North Korea nukes us so we can get rid of Trump. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I understand you don't like the guy, but really, that, I think that's, that might be taking a little far. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I, mean, I realize, uh, you know, unemployment is as low as ever. People want getting jobs or getting jobs. In fact, the White House had to host a job fair just to get workers recently because people are getting jobs. and. The unemployment is the lowest as ever, and apparently, according to all signs, the economy is doing quite well. And now we're in a, and uh, Kim Jong Un has signed this nuclear de nuclearization pact, so it looks like we might have peace for a while. So, and I, I guess the biggest fear of, of liberals is that 
things are going quite well that Trump may be re-elected. So, yeah, they're praying that North Korea nukes us and that the, and the economy crashes so we can get rid of Trump. Yeah. I hope you realize what you're saying. <laughs> really do, I hope. Think about it, what you're just saying, what you, what you just said, because that's a... That's pretty stupid, really. Honestly, that's it. That's it. It was just, it's just stupid. <laughs> that's it. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to end this little end this episode on that on that note. I hope the economy does not crash. I hope North Korea does not nuke us, and and not because I want to give it to Trump. I want Trump to stay. Just I just hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> so it's really that simple. All right? And I hope you enjoyed this episode with the Sony. A73. Do let me know what you think, uh, the quality-wise. Um, back to using the the kit lens, but uh, like I said, the, this lens is something else. I'm waiting for one more lens. I, I ordered a, a super wide angle, so I can do a wide angle shot. There's also f2.8, so I can shoot in the dark as well. That's coming, and once I get that, I'll be able to show some footage from that. But uh, yeah, so far I, I, I am liking this. I'm liking this setup. So uh, let me know what you think. John Chow with John Chow.com. Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up for that, like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.